with, of course, John Tesh. He gives relationship advice to like 8 million people a day. Man, on uh, Some radio. of them are 12 year olds, too, so it's very funny. We get a lot of emails from 12 year olds. You know, I, this relationship stuff is confusing to me, but I think I'll use it later. <laughs> <laughs> I have we a have bunch of questions in the audience here. Yeah. You. Hi, um, I'm single again after a 15 year relationship broke down. Mm. How do I meet men? Well, you got wow. two sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you introduced? Oh, they're married. I'll check that oh, out. she's already yeah, checked them out. Ahead of you, Mike. That's hysterical. <laughs> Yeah, the, you know, the, we've had like uh, uh, three or four studies uh, about this, and the number one place to to meet somebody, to meet a guy especially, is uh, is to find. I mean, do you have any, any passions in your life, like uh, basket weaving or editor of Final Cut Pro, or I mean, what do you? <laughs> well, I'm into sports. You sports, so, so yeah, so sporting events. So, so find, so find, like if if you were a runner or whatever, or a triathlete, you find you, you enter that club and 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 get with like-minded people. Church also a great place. Probably the number one place is a library or a bookstore. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. a lot of people. I always hook see up. good looking guys walking around in the bookstore. It's funny that you say also, that. Also, also health food stores like Whole Foods, places like oh, that. health. Yeah. yeah. Here's a question here, John. <laughs> what do you say to a couple who come from two different religious faith backgrounds? Probably one of the most difficult questions. Mm -hmm. uh, and as as a Christian guy, I have a lot of Jewish friends, and we see this all the time. Uh, the the advice that I've seen from many marriage experts is. Uh, if you're unequally yoked, it's going to be it's going to be difficult, uh, and there are people who convert, people who don't. But the number one piece of advice is that find a common ground, and that common ground would be service. So, in other words, work together to find a way. Use both your faiths and 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 serve together. Be a volunteer, be of service to. What do others. you think about premarital couples counseling? We did it. My wife and I did it for for months. I think it should be mandatory in in in, uh, in America. I really yeah, do. Because I find a lot of men will say no. You know, friends, right. relationships. Right. They say the guy doesn't want to go, yeah. and they say well, you know, we. We just want to learn the tools on how yeah. to deal with problems that will never. Well, and, and, and stuff will come out. Like we we have a, we actually have a little contract. My wife and I between. So how much money can I spend without talking to her? Okay, how many kids do you want to have? Uh, what happens when there's an argument? Things like that, and, and write it down, and then you go through and you have a you have a therapist go through mm -hmm. it with you. Okay, another question here. Hello, how does a woman meet a man of integrity who's not looking to dive into? The physical so fast. Oh, sex too fast. Yes. Mm. In this country? Uh, uh, in any country. <laughs> no, they're, 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 but yes, in New they're, York. They're, yeah, no, they're they're definitely out there. I think I think it's 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 it goes back to what the, the young lady was talking about earlier is where you know where do you where do you meet men? And you guys are you guys are smart. You just gotta go just gotta go with your with your heart, but find the you know the the right place to go to to meet a man. And uh, there's a great piece of advice that I just we just had on the show the other day, which is when you're trying to figure out if if a guy is the keeper. Uh, go, go to go to dinner or whatever, or camping trip or something like that, and and how how the guy treats the service personnel yeah. oh, so is how he will treat you. Whether it's a valet or a wait person, that's how he will treat you in three months. How he reacts to uh, uh, catching on fire in the uh, on the camping trip is uh, <laughs> is, is how he'll react to you in the crisis situation. Here, John. Um, I'm 20 years old in college, and I'm in a long distance relationship. Do you think it's realistic? You know, we were just talking to producer uh, Betsy Chase, uh, our, our lead writer, about this, but uh, uh, like two weeks ago, and uh, we had a big piece on long distance relationships. Twenty years ago, the the thought was that, that they don't work. Now, because of technology, they do work because you can be on iChat. There's texting. There's all you can stay in touch all day. Uh, what happens sometimes is a long distance relationship that, that works for about five years. Sometimes that one person quits their job and and they get together and then they fail. So, one quick question for my sister who has a crush on you. Yeah. This is Kathleen. <laughs> Hey! Where's your piano? <laughs> oh, where's your piano? Uh, it's back, it's back in the green room. We'll have a little concert later. Thanks. <laughs> a little private concert. Actually, we'll be in Charlottesville tomorrow. So you can Charlottesville. John, thank you. Thank so you, John. Much. Very fun. Thanks. Love to.